Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's a Grammy-nominated singer and songwriter whose sultry sound has captivated audiences worldwide. Mm -hmm. Now with a new album on the way and motherhood and marriage as her motivation, she's poised to prove she's about the music and much more. Please welcome Marsha Ambrosia. Are you? I'm great. Yes, hey, you guys. Okay. We are amazing. The humidity is doing wonderful yeah. things. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> but we love it, honey. We love everything that mm -hmm. your hair is doing, and we also love everything that you're doing. Appreciate um, that. We saw you on the BET Awards as oh, you man. had serenaded Anita Baker, the legend. Listen. Yes, How did it feel to sing that song to her, to sing it back, one um, of her songs to her? <laughs> First of all, I've been singing that song what feels like my entire life. I think mm -hmm. everybody has. Yes. And in acknowledging <clears throat> her iconic status yes. and me having to, you know, deliver it back to her as soon as she rose to her feet, like, I, I was like, is this a mild it. panic attack? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening. This is Anita yes. Baker and it's yes. me. And I think what made it that much more overwhelming for me was seeing my husband and my daughter mm -hmm. stage oh. left looking at me yeah. and I lost it. I just started crying. Oh. So I think I was singing. I think when people watched it, were like, black. oh girl, you was crying. That was amazing. I blacked out. Don't yeah. even know what happened. You I was so amazing overwhelmed job. and it was oh just God. an amazing experience. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Anita is the bomb. Let's see. Speaking of your singing, there's also <laughs> something that you do that's equally good, and that's play basketball. Yes, yes, yes. yes and you yes. know, I play I was, basketball. You I play know. basketball. Mm -hmm. We play basketball because we tall. We don't right. tall people in Listen. the whole industry. Yeah. True, I feel like the it's, largest. It's ridiculous. We're together. <laughs> right. So what? Look at me, Jill. Down to the high school. What, <laughs> what, what ultimately steered you away from basketball into music? And actually, how do you use what you learn in basketball in your in entertainment? Well, um. You said equal parts music to basketball. Mm -hmm. I actually think I was better at basketball than music. Wow. I do. Look, I, look uh, I, I had the chance and the opportunity. Oh, Lord, this mm. clip. Give it to him. Give it to him. <laughs> I think I was there serving my husband that day. Yes. <laughs> Crossover, get it. Get no, it. I seriously. Um, Buckets. I tore ligaments. Oh, my. During a very um, amazing season that I was having, I had the opportunity to go to high school over here and the opportunity to also go to Georgia Tech. Mm. Wow. here in Atlanta. Really? So all of these offers on the table and it was that last scrimmage where we'd won every game until that last one and I refused to leave the gym on an, on an L. So oh I was like, God. one more. Crunch. Wow. And I literally heard it Ooh. and I didn't anticipate never being able to play again. So I didn't know what life was without basketball. Wow. So I, I watched um, Michael Jordan's Come Fly With Me every day, mm -hmm. the documentary, mm -hmm. and wrote the song if I was a bird, mm. which then ended up on the Flower Tree album. Wow. And it was like, uh, music, even if I tore ligaments, I could still sing mm -hmm. right. on crutches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it was like, in my head, the business plan and the motto was, if all else failed, I'd still be able to write and sing. So yeah. there you go. Plan B kind of, you know, kind of worked it, out. No, it definitely yeah. did. I was, definitely. I was in my head, I was LeBron. Yeah. But you know. In you real life, I get to be yeah. Nyla's mother. It's mm -hmm. great. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, speaking of your writing, I mean, you've collaborated with um, Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. Dr. Dre, Queen Latifah. I mean, you've done yeah. some amazing things. What is your art artistic uh, impression that you would like to leave uh, when you're working with those wow. persons? Well, first of all, to be able to put myself within that company, mm -hmm. I had to work really hard to to one, be able to tell them what to do. Yeah. It's like, Mike, it's have this song called Butterflies and right. go in the studio and he's telling me to tell him how wow. to. Wow. Which is just nuts. That makes me Quincy Jones. That makes me Paul McCartney. Right. That makes right. me only a very few people that can say they've sat in that room yeah. and created greatness. So. Were you nervous at all? Of course. Yeah. yeah. I was having a whole, whole situation. <laughs> I'm like, I'm 22, 23 at the time. Wow black British woman from Liverpool, England, mm -hmm. didn't really have any accolades or quote unquote status to earn that right. But mm -hmm. what I did have is a great song yes. mm -hmm. that Michael Jackson said was great too. It didn't matter who I was, what I'd already done, yeah. what I hadn't done. Right. He believed in me. Yes. So I, I guess to leave an impression on them is yes. to leave an impression on me. I've been inspired by 
everybody I've worked with. So yeah. to be able to give back and go, I've been listening to you my whole life. Exactly. So I get to, <laughs> you know, oh my God. kind of chip in in some way. Well, don't go anywhere. Yeah. I won't. And you don't go anywhere. We'll be back <laughs> with Marsha, and she's going to break down her upcoming album, Nethla, when we return. All right. Michael Jackson. We're back with singer-songwriter Marsha Ambrosius. Hey, girl. Okay, so <laughs> you are getting ready to work on a new album. Yes. Um, however, you are a new mom. Yes. I am. And a new wife. I am. Now, how has that changed your writing technique? Because I know, you know, when I became a mother and a wife, it changed mm -hmm. it everything. Does, it, it changes everything. Change for you? I think for me, I've been living vicariously through other people. Mm -hmm. And now I get to live my own love story. Yeah. So I feel like seeing my daughter now at one and a half years old, wow. I get to live life through her again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like she knows everything wow. and nothing. Yes. And the innocence and purity in that creatively makes me be sure about yeah. my pen. I mean, exactly. I was very clear and concise mm -hmm. before. She doesn't want an explanation. Yeah. She wants yes, yes, no. All this <laughs> like why or maybe. Doesn't matter. Confusing. Exactly. Wow. So it's, it's made me a, a little bit more clearer than mm -hmm. I used to be. Well, speaking of your upcoming album, Nyla, mm -hmm. which is yes. named after your daughter, yes. um, you had a quote here. You said, I'm trying to bring feeling back. It's nothing contrived. I'm trying to create music that people can feel again. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? You know, it appears that you're saying that maybe we've become a little bit numb emotionally to music now. Mm -hmm. I think we're numb to life, period. Wow. I think true human moments are missed because there's a hashtag or something else attached to it where we're celebrating strangers before we're looking after our own Ooh, front door, you know what I'm yeah, saying? So yeah. with music behind our own, you know, com completely protected, confined spaces, you used to be able to press play on music that made you go, you know what, I'm okay today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even if I feel bad, yes. it's, let me press play on that Anita Baker true. and I'll be yep. okay. Yes, let me true. listen to Marvin Gaye, Mays, like whoever it was going to be to make you feel comfortable, I want that feeling again. Yeah. We don't have anything tangible. There's yeah. no albums That's anymore. True it's yeah. download this, press play, mm -hmm. skip, swipe, so many next, skips. you know? Yes, it is. So yeah. it's, uh, for me, it's pressing play on something that feels like, okay, I've lived yeah. this. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and I feel something like my music your now. listeners can connect to. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and I've, I've always managed to do that. Even songs that I'd never experienced before. Mm -hmm. Now being a wife and mother, I get why people come up to me and go, girl, Ciao. That was me. <laughs> that was me. But I'm like, now it's it's me. Mm. So with Nyla the album, it's not microwavable. This has been marinating. Marcia, well, this is Marcia real so cooking. This is seasoning. Yes. And we, seasoning. we have had an amazing time with you. And Thank we you. Um, cannot wait to your new album, album Nyla Drops, September 28th. So be yes. sure to check it out. Okay.